Our job as Furwood Summer staff and leadership is to simply align ourselves with Jesus' vision of seeking and saving the lost. So we want to create an environment that's conducive to spiritual growth. Each day at Furwood, we have two specific parts of our day that are designed for campers to be exposed to Jesus and His Word. One of those is Bible study, where we go through a summer theme and curriculum through a particular book of the Bible. And then one of those other times is Center Stage, where we have a camp speaker and camp songs. Both of those times are designed to simply do one thing, to put Jesus in front of our campers. And so God's love runs deep, y'all. It runs deep for each and every one of us. Last week, we had five girls give their life to Christ um, throughout the week, and that was just like a really awesome thing to see. We had two girls during our Bible study give their life to Christ. We were just casually answering questions, and they are like, you know what, I think I'm ready. And then we had two more the next night at center stage. Even though I'm their authority, the leader, I always try to build a good friendship with them. And I've had the blessing to have a lot of these kids open up to me. A lot of them look up to me for, for different ways. And uh, I just always point it back to God. I had this girl that wanted to give her life to Christ. And then at dinner, she was like, I don't think I'm ready. We had a time to all be with our group. And I felt like God really was speaking through me. Like I was saying things that I never really said before. And she just started bawling in the middle of me talking. And it was just amazing to see, like I saw her heart change. I saw her heart come from stone to a heart that's ready to be molded into whatever God has planned for her. Singing worship with a friend of mine, I feel the Holy Spirit flow through the worship. I feel called to talk to this kid. I felt like God told me he's had a similar backstory to you. And eventually I just asked him, hey man, do you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I could see it in his face that it meant a lot to him. And they just want you to ask that question. I think we were kind of just like the messengers. Many of our summer staff started as a camper and they came two, three, four summers. And then because Christ impacted their heart, they naturally wanted other campers to have the same experience and be impacted by the love of Jesus as well. So they've come back to be CITs, counselors, and leadership staff. As the director of Camp Furwood, I first came in fourth grade as a camper and was on summer staff for six years in high school and college, and now I'm the director. So what we see here is a, is a generational and a long-standing impact on people's lives that are coming through this place. I'm excited to see what God is going to continue to do as we hold true to our values of scripture and Jesus' calling to seek and save the lost.